here we are again. Welcome to Vlog Catastrophe with Jeffrey Curtis. Make some decent content and some other stuff. You know, if you got any suggestions, subscribe, ring the bell, comment. All right. So last, the last video that we did, we were looking at the topic of making music, producing music, with no DAW, no theory, music theory, and no real uh, musical ability or talent. You know, you can't play an instrument. You don't have a keyboard. So we produced music with just making a mouse and going online and using an online DAW called Soundation. You can check that out in the last video. This time, we're going to be looking at the second way of producing music with, without having any music theory. And that is using MIDI. MIDI uh, is musical information. What does MIDI stand for? Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Musical Instrument Digital should have known that. I've been doing it for a long time. And uh, I guess, you know, small things like that you forget. I have an ear infection. That's why I keep touching my ear. Anyway, um, so last time we looked at loops. This time we're going to be looking at MIDI. Now, one thing that's important to note, one thing I left out was stems. Stems are uh, remix tracks right tracks that you get from a producer that has already produced a song one track will have all the drum uh, and percussion another one will be all the lead vocals and and what happens is they pro they supply these stems in and uh, you can get them and remix the work now the reason I didn't include that they are audio loops by definition although they're whole tracks uh, the reason I didn't include that because that's copywritten material Right, so I didn't include stems. Although, a good way to get known, it's kind of risky, is to take somebody's track, stems, remix it yourself, and if it's good enough and gets played enough, um, you know, you're gonna get in trouble for it because, you know, no one wants to give away their money. But chances are that whoever owns that, instead of suing you, will ask you just to sign a release for that song. So you still get the notoriety or whatever, and and you get the connection with that with that recording studio or uh, whichever it be MGM or whoever uh, Sony Records or something. Like that. But uh, you know it's kind of risky. I I don't do that. Uh -uh. But uh, what I have done is. Uh, looked at grabbed those stems and looked at how they mixed it and what it sounded like and stuff i got i got all the stems from a lot of the lincoln park works and and a lot of other things that i just i just looked at how they put it together and and learned one of the best ways you can learn how to produce music is to take a piece of music rip it apart try to recreate it without using loops i already told you that before okay so um on the music front really quick let's uh talk about that for a second i I have talked to the videographer for the for the video and we came out with a plan. I made an appointment with somebody for sponsoring. They recommended to go with somebody else. So we're gonna give me a name and uh, we'll check that out tomorrow. If you would like to sponsor the video, hey, hit me up. It's gonna cost about a grand to make the video and uh, hey, whatever. It's all good. We're gonna try to get it done though. Uh, we have a we're hopefully the the goal the goal is to have the song Released with the video by the middle of May Right, that's the goal So that gives us about three months and that that's uh, to make the video to and then to Do all the marketing and then to release so uh, Marketing takes about 30 days or better, you know, so right. So that's what we're doing there um I guess that's about it for now. Uh, we're going to be looking at this other way. We're going to look at MIDI right now, and I'm going to switch over to the computer. Catch you in a bit. All right, so here we are, and we're going to start looking at this. You know, uh, I wish Anvil Studio worked for Mac. Uh, I really like that program. It's free, 
So it's sort of impossible to to not have a DAW when you're when you're messing with MIDI, right? But there's some alternatives. There's some free things you can download. If you have a PC, then by all means get Anvil Studio. That'll have a decent thing. If you don't have a PC, um, uh, you can use maybe MuseScore. It's free. That's what we'll look at today. Using MuseScore, um, I've written several things in MuseScore, but I used uh, I used the music notation to do that. Like my project uh, projection project, it was a symphonic orchestral piece for movie scores and stuff. That was uh, actually it was a, an assignment for school when I was in music school. And it's on, available online. You can check it out. It's at the maybe I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a link of it. I'll put a link in the description down there. <clears throat> Projection and it shows the video of the score and everything. First, I want to talk about this. Okay, so MIDI, uh, it it has really there's two different extensions, right? An extension is you know like .com or .exe or .dot what DLL or whatever on the other file. Um, MIDI comes in .mid or .midi, either one. So, um, and not all programs are set up to recognize both. So you have to be careful. First. Actually, first let's recommend this. Let's go back down, back over to Soundation. Let me click on that real quick and go there. I'm gonna go to Soundation real quick. There's other ones you can use, right? But uh, this one works good, so this is the one I'm gonna, what I'm gonna use. I'm still signed in. What do you know? So I'll just start it up. All right. So here it is, Soundation. And like we said, there's, there is all kinds of audio channels. But we're gonna get rid of all these, all these audio channels. All you do is highlight, and delete. For now, we're just gonna delete these because we're just dealing with MIDI right now. So add, remember, is on the bottom here. And here it's called instrument channel. So we're just gonna call it instrument channel. All right, so let's just put two of those in there for now. Let's just close this out. And uh, so uh, these here, simple synths or whatever, here you can put in whatever you want. So it say here's a drum machine right here, right? Okay, so, and it's got different kits right here. I'm gonna stay with kit eight for now. And I'm going to go to my uh, library, sound library. Let's see what we can, MIDI. we can. What? No, MIDI. Oh, my gosh. What are we going to do? It's all loops. <laughs> I happen to have tons and tons. I have downloaded through the, through the years and years that, that I have been doing this. I always keep track and look out for, for good packs. And stuff stuff free stuff especially you can look online there is a ton of MIDI stuff online for free MIDI see that and now I have a ton this is all MIDI stuff just everything you can imagine here's a unison pack we'll look at that in a little bit uh, so I have like and this is just you know I have it by look see look I got aha Air Supply, Amy Grant, you know, Backstreet Boys, all the, it's MIDI is what it is. Somebody created the file in MIDI and, and put it in there. And we'll look at that in a second. But first I'm doing this. Let's see if there's some drums here somewhere. Um, this looks all, here's a 707 kit. Let's see if we can drag this in. Oh, look at that. It drug right in. Let's put it up here. See if it works. Hit play. Now this is just stuff I downloaded offline, right? MIDI that I downloaded offline. And the truth is, and, and this is how we're doing it without even without even having any, not even a DAW, right? I just downloaded something there. I could download lots of stuff into that. Maybe I don't like that sound. Let's look for a different one. Here's a, it says 909 kit. I wonder if there's a break beat in here somewhere. Who knows? What's this? A, who knows you know I downloaded it in 2009 
right? So I, I have no idea what it is. So let's let's just see what it is real quick. I'll just drag it in. Drop it. Put it up here. On the drum part, just see what it sounds like. Hit play. Isn't that amazing? I d I'm doing all this just to show you what you can do with MIDI. Alright? This is, this is uh, you know, you can do that with any part, any part of MIDI, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm using the foundation here and you know say I wanted to change things you just double click on it opens up the piano this is called the piano roll right here and you can literally change all this stuff any part of it that you want to right you can drag it or or add even You get the point so you can do it that way okay let's move out away out now if you really are serious about music you're gonna start downloading some programs okay if you're really serious about music and learning music you definitely need to get muse score right muse score one or two uh, it's a great program it's free and it helps you to write in musical notation and so that's a great great tool anvil studio also has musical nation notation area and so does <clears throat> most of your DAWs you can put logic in musical notation or or pro tools in musical notation uh, not not uh, as far as I know anyway I haven't found it anywhere uh, not Ableton live that's one way right you you collect MIDI loops of different things and then you sort them out on your hard drive the way you like to and they're all free online all right midi midi packs you don't have to buy them i bought i've bought some i bought some right and we'll look at a couple of them but i don't usually buy them i got all kinds of stuff look at a <clears throat> now also if you're on a like if you're on a uh, uh, PC and you double click on a MIDI, it'll usually open up inside of uh, Windows Player and actually be assigned the right instruments and just play. And that's cool because you can preview it that way. If you're previewing it on a Mac, um, it generally, I don't think it opens up inside of Cubase. I mean, uh, in, in, inside of QuickTime. Converting QuickTime Player can't open MIDI. Okay, so it won't open inside of QuickTime, but it will open inside of Windows, Windows uh, Music Player, usually. <laughs> Believe it or not, check this out. If you don't know what kind of chord progressions that you want, but you know you've heard a song that has that chord progression, and you go, "Man, I really like that song." And up until just recently, you couldn't copyright chord progressions. Just recently, that they, um, someone I forget, I think Katy Perry got sued. Uh, someone got sued for a chord progression they used and that, you know, it was ridiculous. She ended up settling out of court for millions, but uh, it, there's only so many chord progressions, so it's ridiculous to even for anybody to be able to, to be able to copyright a chord progression. Elvis? How about some Elvis? Okay, so uh, Heartbreak Hotel. Here's, here's Elvis Presley, Heartbreak Hotel. I downloaded it somewhere for free. If I double click on this, it brings up the free version of MuseScore, right? And and the thing about MuseScore, it usually doesn't play the first time. Okay, so if I start it out, it'll probably mess up, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so you're looking at that saying, hey, hey, Jeff, I don't know music. What are we doing? Well, all you do is you, you uh, left click and go to Piano Roll Editor right here and check this out right here. Right now, if I press play, there it is.
See, now we're seeing all the chord progressions. See? Okay. Say we wanted to see the... Uh, the I'm, I, this is the, the piano right here, the chord progressions, right? So maybe I, I like this part right here. And see, all I'd have to do is copy and then paste, right? And I'd have that chord progression. That's not illegal. And it's not copyright infringement, taking the progression. Now, what is copyright infringement is taking the melody, right? So the melody, there we go. All right, if I open it up inside of, if I open the melody, see this melody, here, here's the melody. Now, see, that is copywritten. You can't use that. But you can easily use the chord progression. You can cut and paste all you want. All right, so that is a way that you can get chord progressions, right, without knowing music at all. Okay? So that's a pretty cool way. Now, another way, I'm not going to say that. And, you know, you can get all it, just about any song ever made in the MIDI ver version somehow. And here, you see, I got MIDI fills and everything, right? Uh, you can, and what it boils down to is that when you're using instruments, VC, VST instruments and stuff, you're using MIDI, MIDI triggers, MIDI signals, and MIDI, MIDI uh, coding and stuff. So, hey, whatever saves you time. I would also see this is from F, FPC drum set. It's not going to come, which is I think inside of Fruity Loops. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, we have a ton of, uh, here's John Williams. Look at this. 1941. Um, all right, so I'm going to go to MIDI. All right, so here's all those MIDI packs, right? And I could easily just load them right in here now. Whoops, up here. Right here. See, now if I load this in here, see, now look, see across the top, see all that? It would actually load all that stuff separately, right? And I could look at it. That's pretty cool because it's already a pack. But th that'll, that's how you can learn, right? But if you want to create, uh, you, can, you can get stuff like the Unison Chord Pack here. This is one. But, and you've seen several people advertising this. Okay, so the unison chord pack. We were looking at that, right? So we were looking at D flat minor, right? So triads, all one, two, three, four. Okay, we wanted that and we could just take it and drop it in right here. And say we wanted um, to go to, actually, let's not use that. Let's do one that, Oh, hold on, I gotta call it all. Hello? Hey, Jeff. What's up? You know how it goes. Sometimes you just get business. Where were we? Oh, we were dragging uh, files over. Okay, so there's, uh, what did we put? Oh, I didn't, I put, I want to put, um, let's put a six. B. Flat and four. No, six usually three. Six. Now this is here's my music education coming in. Tech. I know what the progress, what the progressions should be, but you can make them anywhere. You know, three, five. This is adding every time. I don't, And then let's go back to six again. Oh, what? Let's see what that sounds like. You know, that, you might think that that's weird, but you know, hey, it's something. Okay, so that's something you can do with this pack. 
You know, they also have, um, you know, extended chords and progressions here. You've heard them all. There's been a ton of things about these progressions. You know, uh, minor progressions and major progressions. And basically, that's what we just did. We created a chord progression our own. Or you can just come down here and get a chord progression, put it in here, you know, and uh, go for it, you know. Yeah, we need to get a different sound on that. <laughs> oh, here. Uh, this is sap. <clears throat> the last way I'm going to cover is this. Uh, Ghost Hack has something out. Let's see what those are. It's, I think I have it um, somewhere here. Oh, it's on the network. It, it works a little bit different. Right? It gives you, um, like, the, uh, the number and you just match them up, right? So say we want, here's melodies. So say we want to go with this E melody, right? So he, here's E melody six, we'll put it in here. I'm just gonna drag it up here. All right, and then, so there's the melody. We can put um, chords in underneath that. Uh, what do we have? E6. So we'll just grab the E6 chords. You know, let's put it underneath there. And right now we're, we have the same synth sound on all of them, but that's not how we're going to do it. And then we can put an arpeggio in there. Arpeggio is da 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 like a trill. And we're using, so you get E6. And then bass line. We'll try E6 here too. Alright, so just to, just to see. We're going to just leave it all under the synth. The same synth and see how... Now this should sound terrible. Okay, but what, whatever, you know. I'm just showing you how you can do it. It's not too bad, actually, for what I expect it to be much worse. Um, let's go uh, back to, actually, um, what is this, arpeggios? So let's go to VA synth, and let's go to strings for arpeggios, some kind of strings. If it has it, pads. Horns, yeah, that might work. Here it is, synth strings. Go strings there. Um, chords. Let's go with an organ, okay? So uh, let's try this. Let's see if there's an organ in here. Pipes. All right, let's use voice. All right, and we want like bells or something here. Uh, let's see what we got. Chimes, let's go with space chimes. And of course here we're gonna want something in bass. Brass, 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 guitar. There's a good organ. Oh, we have to choose the other one. Let's go VA. Uh, we want bass. Oh, look at here's a wobble bass. Let's let's go with that. All right. So now. obviously way too low right so we'll expand it for a second I wonder if we can just go like this so 
Okay, so I just hit control and rolled my mouse. Now you can see the whole thing. And we're going to go up. See, note that that's on a, a D right there. So we want to go up. Because this is way too low. Let's try that. This is too high, right? So we're gonna do the opposite here. We're gonna we're gonna bring these down. Oh, didn't get them all. So just highlight them all, and it's this key's on a B. So we're gonna take it down to the other B, like right here. And now let's see what it sounds like. it sounded better right so now it just needs us uh, some drums so you know I, 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 we could just put a loop in here right here let's just get it from the library close this real quick and I'd like to see some deep house Let's look at the EDM started here. Take these back out here. And let's put this in. And we'll put it in here. Let's see what that sounds like, right? Sounds good without that. All right, so you get the idea. That's something that you can do with uh, what I use right there. That was uh, ghost hacks and with a loop. And the other one was unison chord pack. Before that, we looked at just using MIDI straight out of chords. And that works well, too. That's usually, I do that a lot. The other thing that you should know when it comes to MIDI stuff, there's a, there's a quick little thing that you can do. Right? So, say uh, this one here, this is a B flat, right? Just because I know it, what it is. So if I wanted to bring that down here to this, you could just look at what key it's on. Now, if I go every other one and put a note in here, so here's one, two, one there, and then one there. Now that is a chord, every other one, and that will work. Watch. Don't forget, like this. Sounds right. 
cool, right? All right, so uh, I don't use Fruity Loops, but I have a copy of it, but I, I purposely stay away from it. I use it a little bit, but this here I'm just using. Now, now I, I we got one more video of this left. And All that, right, so that's it for the MIDI. The MIDI, I don't know what you'd call it. Class, tutorial, whatever. How to make music with no theory and with no DAW and with no instrument or or a instrumentation ability, right? You can't play guitar, can't play keyboards. This only took a mouse and it takes the internet, you know, to be able to download MIDI stuff. You don't have to know nothing really. We looked at all those things, how to how to uh, get MIDI songs and just take parts of them you like, the chord progressions that you like out of them. Or you could use Unison, or you could use Ghost Hack, or any of those that have have MIDI packs like that. Or, um, yeah, I guess that's it. You could use all that stuff. <laughs> okay, so next time is the, what is it, Synth Workstation. That'll be the third and final video of this, of this three-part series, Making Music with No... Uh, music production with no music theory, with no DAW, and with no uh, musical ability, no instrument instrumentation ability. All right? Whatever. Just grab something to make some music, right? Catch you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget, I'm not cheap. I'm just frugal. <laughs>